the reason that you have to face your fears is that it's the only way that you'll find out what is within you. There's this wonderful quote it's from the Gnostic Gospels. If you bring forth what is within you, what is within you will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. It seems to me that our fears are often induced in us to stop us from doing something that might upset the status quo, might upset a power imbalance. When you come to a boundary and you feel fearful about getting across it, the question to ask is, in whose interest is it that I stay on this side of that boundary? is terribly important, not just at an individual level, but for whole societies, for whole groups to contemplate what it means to come across that boundary and either keep inside it or step across it. It's a wonderful avenue for growing beyond something rigid and determined. It actually allows for growth and connection and adventure in the sense that that's essentially what life is. Literature has been my role model. That's what gave me a sense of the larger world. I came into my adulthood, late 60s and early 70s, but there weren't a lot of role models out ahead of us. We had to kind of make our own ground in a way. And one of the great things is that young women, young people have many more role models now. And that sense that there's something out there in front of them Young people have access to so much information, but I'm not sure that they have access to, to depth. It's much easier to be distracted all the time. The values that our society imposes are very much to do with success and pushing forward through some sort of hierarchy. The idea of contemplation, of really thinking about what life is and what it means, it's undervalued these days. Because it's uncomfortable, actually, contemplating and actually thinking about yourself, thinking about life, thinking about the world. Every human being has within them abilities, talents, extraordinary things that they won't know about until they push beyond certain limits within themselves. And so our duty is to put ourselves to the test. It applies to women in a particular way because of the way our society is structured. And it isn't that it's guaranteed that it will be easy or that you won't fail or any, any of those things. It's the actual crossing of that internal boundary that is so important for us all to try and do. It's a bit scary, but it's worth being a bit scared, I think.